It's embarrassing. It's a disgrace. Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover from one that got F1 fans fuming on social media due to a gridwalk moment with MGK that sparked a roasting session on Twitter. And this got the pop punk artist trending on the platform and this makes it back to back roasting sessions for MGK and we'll get to more on this in a moment. Today Eminem's MMLP2 turns 10 and we'll be exploring some highlights and reactions so far and at the latter part of the video we'll get to 50 Cent's reaction to yet another milestone for Get Rich or Die trying. So like we covered in the last video, MGK was getting roasted for his lyrics on T Grizzly's latest album that many believe were aimed at Eminem and he's on a streak at the moment as today he's getting slammed by F1 fans for an awkward gridwalk moment that's gone viral. Check it out. I have no idea what you said but thank you. I said welcome to the grid. Ah, thank you, thank you. Honor to be here. Tell us about uh, your career at the moment. That's a, that's a puppy. What, what, what are you saying? Tell us about your career at the moment. What, what's going on for you? Um, oh, my career. I don't think about my career. I don't think about it. Uh, well, well, I'll tell you what, good luck with it, whatever you do. What do you think about our business in Formula I think One? Your business is great. It's loud, your life's on the line. That's exciting. I was in a studio the other week and uh, Lewis Hamilton was in the other studio. That was nice. Yeah, yeah. It's embarrassing. It's a disgrace. That's what it is, a disgrace. It's a disgrace. That's how I feel. And that's how everybody feels in that room. I'm sorry. Embarrassing. And it would seem that MGK has a talent for being unlikable, as this was met with reactions like, God, Machine Gun Kelly gives the worst vibe ever. He needs some insane media training, loudly crying emojis. Another user expanded, Machine Gun Kelly has just made himself look like a right knob on the F1. What a absolute self-righteous hideous knob, no one listens to your crap music anyway. This tops the moment when the internet discovered that MGK told Megan Fox I am weed that became a meme and they kept cooking. Machine Gun Kelly is a moppet in literally every sense of the word and while this went viral, Machine Gun Kelly is worse than 9-11, some believe changes need to be made moving forward. Never allow Machine Gun Kelly into F1 again, I actually got secondhand embarrassment and since he seemed lost when he was asked about his career, this was also met with takes like he hasn't got a career because Eminem ended it laughing emoji. He's been looking like a cosplayer since he moved to the pop punk genre and now he's got the entire F1 fanbase going after him on the internet. What an absolute bum Machine Gun Kelly is, total lack of respect for Martin there. They are legit pissed off right now going on rants like the singer Machine Gun Kelly is a poser and entitled brat. It wouldn't be hard to make him cry. He stole another man's name and thinks he's a tough guy, thinking he's not being. The real Machine Gun Kelly was a real gangster, not a role-playing boy. And he's got official motorsports outlets roasting him for that interview at the moment. And this user caught it under the last video about his subs aimed at Eminem. MGK is too easy to dislike lol. Yeah, it took balls to go at M like he did, but Slim clipped him off pretty quick. Nick Cannon can certainly relate to this. Moving on, MMLP2 turns 10 today, an album that opened to generally positive reviews from fans and critics and also first week sales of over 1.2 million sold across major markets around the world, of which 792,000 came from the United States alone. And according to the IFPI, it was the second best selling album globally in 2013 with sales of 3.8 million and Eminem was the biggest solo act of 2013 in the world and overall second behind One Direction. And right Right now, based on Chartmaster's global estimates, it has moved over 12.5 million equivalent albums globally. And over on Reddit, fans have been sharing their thoughts on the album. Check this out. Always forget how long MMLP2 is. Every track ranges from 4 to 7 minutes long, most tethering around 5. Nearly 2 hours of content. Eminem was rapping like his life depended on it. Just go listen to the third verse on a hole to jog your memory and what this user meant by Eminem was rapping like his life depended on it. And the user concluded, the album is a masterpiece and at 10 years later, I can personally consider it a full on classic. You smart. You very smart. You a genius. Moving on, 50 Cent's Get Rich or Die Trying just hit 4 billion streams on Spotify and 50 Cent headed off to social media, eyes emoji. See why I be saying take your time, make it a classic. 
shrugs emoji over 4 billion Spotify streams. Most rappers can take all the time they need, even with an unlimited budget, and they wouldn't be able to put out an album like Get Richer That Trine if we're being honest. And after setting records in the sales era, Get Richer That Trine is still going strong on streaming platforms. That will be all for today. Share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one. I don't think about my career. I don't think about it. Uh, well, well, I'll tell you what, good luck with it, whatever you do.